Are you ready to take a leap of faith? I sure am! But for that I'm gonna need the hover boots, of course! Now, I gotta time this so that I get this when the fan starts spinning. Okay, go faster, faster, okay, I'm good. Alright, so that's one down. Now, we got Beemos over here, so I'm just going to grab my bombs. Din's fire isn't gonna do a whole lot against it. And boom! It's a wand bomb, Beemos. Alright. So, now, okay, this for the silver rupee that's above me. I don't think I can do anything about it quite yet, so I'm gonna go for the others. No, 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 no! Don't go in the pit! That's what's annoying with the hover boots, uh, this no traction deal. That's why I try to use them as little as possible. So, okay, I'm gonna go down and see what that switch does. Give me just a moment. And uh, thanks for not showing me, game, but yeah, it's as I remembered. There's a hookshot target over there, and that's how you're supposed to get this silver rupee. Now, there's only one left, and uh, I'm gonna need some mad timing skills for this one. Right, I'm just gonna head back up there. And now, of course, I have to wait until it stops. Waiting? Still waiting? Okay, there we go. Okay, did I stop? Oh, okay, I stopped. I was wondering if the game would uh, keep catapulting me towards the pit. That would really suck. But unfortunately, the game designers must have been feeling particularly merciful on that day. So, smash those two pots, see if there's anything of use. We got some magic and a rupee that I don't need. So, last barrier going down. We're about, we're about to be able to enter Ganondorf's inner sanctum, guys. And by the way, that arrow still floating in the air. The same thing happened with the spirit barrier, but I didn't notice it for some reason. Now, while we're watching that barrier go down, I just want to point out, since this is the grand finale, you might see some odd cuts here and there, because I don't really want to cut in the middle of the battle, so the cuts that I make may not be the same as the cuts that are going to uh, uh, be the end of each video in the final product. That's going to change in editing, most likely. So, now we're able to enter Ganon's Tower. So let's head in there. We uh, don't expect to see Ganondorf as soon as we enter there, though we still have some more enemies to fight. In this first room, we got a bunch of fire keys that just gonna ignore, it's better to just ignore them than try to engage them and lose some life uh, for no reason. Okay, now we gotta do some battles. First battle against uh, two uh, Dino Foses. Not Lizal Foses, those are actually Dino Foses. You can see that their attack patterns are quite different, in fact. And, oh come on, that was bullshit! I hate that when the, 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 the enemy is clearly bleeding from me hitting it, but the hit doesn't count. And I took some damage because of that. But, enough about that. We still have a few more battles left to go. I think the next one is two Stalfos. So, let's get to that right now. And we even got uh, the boss key chest, which is completely redundant, since we need to get through here anyway to get to Ganondorf. So, yeah, entirely pointless. Now, wow, this one went down fast, even if, it had, even if it had its shield up all the time, I just, I just dominated it. I'm beasting through this, and I'm glad that that's the case, because uh, that's a good omen for the upcoming fight against Ganondorf. Anyway, we get the last boss key of the game, and now we're going to head back up some more stairs for the last battle before Ganondorf. It's against two Dark Nuts, not just one. Now the good news is that since this is not Wind Waker or Twilight Princess, you can in fact engage them separately instead of them activating uh, whenever you're like a mile away from them. And uh, whoa! I thought I was going to get hit there. At least I reacted uh, quickly enough, so that's one down. Oh, and some healing. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's deal with the black one, and that wasn't a good idea. I should have backflipped instead of just a... Okay, I, I really gotta stop making stupid mistakes like that now. Okay, let it attack, jump attack, backflip, jump attack, and 
That's all she wrote! Now, um, I'm not gonna get enough hearts here to heal off uh, all the damage this thing did. And thank God I, uh, thank God I got my double defense, otherwise, uh, I would've got the four hearts less than that. So, here's the boss door. Still not Ganondorf right away, though. We end up in a room that's full of pots. You can use these for uh, healing um, and, uh, you know, magic and stuff. If you need some arrows, I guess. Uh, you fall down here if you fall down uh, uh, the battlefield during the battle against Ganondorf. So that's something to keep in mind. You can go down here if you need uh, some supplies during the battles. Not that I really need any. Full in magic, full in health, full in arrows. I, th I think I think we're just about ready, guys. Are you ready? I think I am. So let's just head through this final door. And here we go, guys. This is it. Final battle is about to begin. And here is Zelda. Anytime now. Yep, Zelda still in her little crystal. And Ganondorf playing his own theme on the organ. You might have been hearing... Uh, the song from further down below, it gets louder and louder as you get closer, which is a nice touch. But yeah, he's playing his own theme on the organ. This guy has some serious ego problems, I gotta say. Now the Triforce parts are resonating, which is going to grant me healing. I really shouldn't have wasted my time with those pots down there. But anyway, now Ganondorf is um, taking note of uh, my entrance. And by the way, yes, that is a wig he's wearing, unless his hair ha became much longer than the, than the last time I see him, but definitely looks like a wig. Nah, 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 nah. Here's some uh, random blah blah to uh, get us all warmed up before the final battle. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I wouldn't have guessed this on my own, given what Zelda told me earlier. These toys are too much for you! <laughs> Constipation attack! Go! But apparently, uh, it serves its purpose because um, I'm not going to be able to uh, L-target Ganondorf from this far away. Now, the battle begins. First thing you want to do, get back here. And now, pull out your sword. This is going to be a repeat of the fight against Phantom Ganon in that he's going to throw an energy ball at you and you got to deflect it with your sword. Not like that. I went at it too early. Uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess are a lot more forgiving when it comes to uh, this kind of thing. Yeah, as if you haven't noticed with all the hiccups that I had with Keith so far this LP. And once you get him, you gotta throw a light arrow at him, and I'm gonna do the same thing I did against the Twin Roba's second form. Use the hover boots to get over there faster, and now you gotta slash Ganondorf as much as you can. Three hits? Okay, I can accept that, and take off the boots and uh, repeat. By the way, uh, as you're probably noticing right now, uh, there are some holes in Ganondorf's cape. It's ow! It's a rather nice touch in that it helps indicate uh, how much damage you've done to him, so I think two or three more cycles of this and we should be good. Now, let's focus. There we go! Now, attack with the light arrow. As I said, you can only uh, L-target Ganondorf once he's been hit by a light arrow, not before. So... Okay, I think it was just wishful thinking to get it done in two cycles. So, um, let's take the boots off, and oh shit, yeah, he's gonna do that sometimes. He's gonna throw some more tiles down there, so it leaves you less ground to stand on. Now that you really need that much ground, you just need enough to, uh, slash your sword like that. And let's, uh, continue. Can we get the, can we get it done in three cycles? I'm sure as boots going to try. Come on. Oh, wow, I got him in the last Second, And there we go! Ganondorf has been defeated! And... Look at that! Oh no! He spits green blood! Must complain about it on every internet message board! Despite it not affecting gameplay in any significant way at all! And, yeah, he's having another constipation freak out there, and he's proceeding to 
blow the ever-loving crap out of these other uh, these windows and presumably the ceiling as well because now we're in a wide open area and somehow the floor has been restored. Yeah, I don't know either. Anyway, the game is over. No, it's not. I'm not gonna bullshit you. It's not. We still have some more stuff left to do. But, um, it's just a matter of minutes at this point. So, we successfully rescued Zelda. Not that I really came here to save her bacon, as far as I'm concerned. She definitely deserved it. And, um, oh, something tells me we're not supposed to stay here too long, because... Yeah, time bomb activated! Escape immediately! Yeah, a little flashback to Super Metroid here. We have three minutes to escape. And it's been about 11 minutes since I started recording, so I'm just gonna cut this right now, and I will just be back in a few. Okay, I apologize for this little cut. It was something that I had to do to make editing a little bit easier. Okay, take off the boots, obviously. We don't need them anymore. So, you want to be careful not to get your head smashed by those falling boulders. Because yes, they do deal damage. It's not just for cosmetics. And you got to stay relatively close to Zelda. Otherwise, uh, you're going to lose her and she's just going to stand there until you come back. Yeah. Um, male reliant uh, female much? I don't know how to word this. Where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's there. Okay, so I guess this is not uh, the way we have to go. This was all those um, metal bars we encountered on the way of the tower had to do. Those are basically uh, the uh, emergency exits in case something like that happens. And, um... Stop blocking me, Zelda! <laughs> I love how she just kept walking on thin air like nothing happened. And there was still ground there where I had to jump uh, the old-fashioned way. Okay, uh, in those rooms, you want to be careful to follow where Zelda goes and not lag too far behind. Otherwise, uh, you're probably going to get smashed by a bunch of boulders. We're back outside. Um, sorry if this is a little samey, by the way. It's not that interesting. For now, though, uh, there, uh, there are going to be some changes later on, and I think we're about to see some right now. Yep, yeah, wide open room. Zelda goes over there. And cast the Ring of Fire because it's a trap! Yeah, we got to deal with two more stall foes before we go. So, let's kill this one. Come on! <laughs> I did a spin attack and I didn't even intend on doing one. Uh, and by the way, uh, the reason why I'm not spamming those spin attacks is because I can't do it reliably, especially not on this uh, controller that has square analog stick sockets. Very hard to do circles with squares. So, um, yeah, usually she drops some hearts, but I guess uh, she drops a bunch of rupees when uh, you're already full on health. Um, wait a minute, why is my health full? Uh, didn't Ganondorf send me two energy balls right in my face? I get it got regenerated uh, after the fight or something like that. Uh, okay. Ow! During the cutscene on top of that? Oh, at least I didn't take any damage. It would really suck if I did. Now, this is one of those rooms where you just have to follow Zelda and not do the same thing I did. Ow! Sort of reminds me of that time I lost the ghost in uh, the Haunted Wasteland. In that I uh, just didn't go in the right direction at all. And, uh, yeah, now this is... Uh, th is this the stairway with, with all those fire keys? Not sure on that, uh, Probably not. It's probably just uh, an evac room that we haven't uh, uh, visited yet. And now, if I remember, on this bridge, yeah, we got a redead. Just ignore it and move on. By the way, try not to get your hit by boulders too much in this thing. Otherwise, Zelda is gonna stop and uh, and just yell like, "Oh my God, he's got the hit! Oh my God!" She's just gonna freak out and it just wastes time. Even though. Uh, time isn't an issue. We are done, and we still had 50-some seconds left to go.